Independence Day, Arab. Mm. I'll uh, I'll leave you and Dr. Fox alone. Mm, not funny, Barry. How am I going to look her in the eye? And why would you tell her about Dr Fox? <laughs> How do you know it was me? Uh, all right, it was me. Look, I needed an icebreaker, and it's a good anecdote. Bad darts, Barry. Never use another man's cock to break your own ice. <laughs> OK, firstly, I don't even know why you've got a nickname for my penis. It's weird. And secondly, if you are going to have a nickname for it, don't tell people. Especially not girls he fancies. Uh, I don't yeah. fancy her. Dude, chill. Dad, stop saying dude. We've only been here a week. Dude, it's no big deal. Loads of people have names for their cops. Oh, Barry, they don't. Guys, nicknames for the little fella. Old dirty bastard. P19, the baby maker. Ozymandias, king of kings. See? Oh, come on, she knows you sleepwalk. It's not like she thinks you're some random pervert. Do you want my advice? No. Use it as a chat-up line. Oh, dear God, please make it stop. Rachel, now you've met Dr Fox, what say you, me and him go to this dance together? See if there's an erection section. What? She's funny, smart... Religious? Lovely nork. Oh, please, can we get him put down? You know what the problem is, mate? You. Oh, my girlfriend left me. Oh, I'm an emotional mess. Oh, I hate myself. Yeah, so what? Get over it. Life goes on. Yeah, well, maybe one day, Barry, when you've actually had a girlfriend, you might understand what this feels like. Oh, Flynn, help me out here. He's got a point, mate. I'm not saying it has to be Rachel, but you could do with someone put a smile back on your face. Hey, Rab. Hey, Rab. A volunteer. <laughs> hey, what's up, big man? I'm feeling blue. Oh, dear. Again. Can we go for a walk later? Crush is getting ridiculous. Most depressing couple ever. <laughs> and the rock is red glare. Ooh, so fancy, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You see that? Now, what do you think that look means? Uh, stop ogling me, you annoying pervert. Does that offend you? Well, that every morning we sing a song about a war that we fought Good against. Good morning, Beaver Falls. Good morning, Barry. And a happy July 4th to you all. Today, we as a nation remember our triumph over corruption, tyranny, and inbreeding. And to commemorate, our traditional historic pageant takes place this afternoon. <laughs> This year, uh, directed by Mr. Spencer, and starring Cabin 17. <laughs> and then tonight, as usual, it's our traditional Independence Day hop. Dress code red, white, and blue. So guys, pluck up the courage to ask that special lady, because tonight we are going to rock around the clock until 10 p.m. While I have you here, recycling is also a problem because um, it can just keep the bins separated and the plastics in the uh, bags and the campers. Uh, uh, I am still talking here. Campers, uh, please ignore the helicopter. I repeat, ignore the helicopter. Sorry, if I interrupted. Do continue. Oh, where was I? 
the pageant, no, the, the, the dance, the, uh, the, the, forget it, listen, uh, can't dismiss. Lily, welcome, uh, how lovely to see you at last. We were rather expecting you to arrive last week with uh, the other campers, but... Uh, I'm fashionably late. Of course. Uh, how's your father? Luggage, Bobby. Luggage. Don't even think about it, Spencer. Hi. Hi. Um, I am so sorry about earlier. I want you to know I'm filing an official complaint against you. Hey, Rob, I'm joking. Lighten up. <laughs> so, uh, we're good. Yeah, of course. So are you guys going to this thing tonight or setting it out on historical grounds? No, I think me and the other inbreds will make an appearance. All the girls in my cabin are very excited. Mm -hmm. All they've been talking about all week is you know, what they're wearing. Who's taking who? Yeah, God, yeah, such a big deal at that age, isn't it? You know, all that pressure. I mean, who needs it, right? It's way too much hassle. Yeah, I guess. Although... Hey, Rab. What now? I just wanted to give you this. Mate, mate, come back. He's been miserable for days. Mm, a little crush. Yeah, yeah, it's doing my head in. Well, I'm not, like, homophobic or anything. That's because he's 11. It'd be the same if he was a girl. I mean, if you were gay, I'd just be like, yeah, great. Not that I've thought about it. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. What are you doing now? Sharpening my quill. You did that earlier. Look, Benjamin Franklin would have had a spare quill. I'm method acting. This is gonna be shit. It'll be great. You guys just need to believe the words. Life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness. What line? Are you sure this is gonna get us dates for tonight? Nah, he's shitting us. The only reason we got broke into this is because he couldn't be bothered to do proper auditions. Bollocks. You guys came to me for help, remember? And this is me helping, okay? How is that? By your standards, good. Yeah. Yeah. By anyone else's? You sucked. Oh. Get your breath back. We'll try again. On average, how much of the time would you say you spent looking at my rack? I don't know. 80, 85%. Well, at least I'm honest about it. So, uh, you got a date for tonight? Yes, Barry. Jake's taking me. Oh, OK. He asked you, has he? He's my boyfriend. He doesn't have to. It'd be nice not to be taken for granted, though, wouldn't it? Does Jake know about us yet? Barry, there is no us. This is a business deal, remember? Speaking of which, where's my weed? Uh, I'm working on it. You do realize that the whole at least I'm honest routine only works if you're actually honest. I haven't lied. You've got till the end of the day to get me my weed. Or normal lessons. And no more ogling. Ever. Seth Rogan. Biggie Smalls. Jack Black. You think any of those guys ever have so hard trouble getting dates? No. Why? Because in showbiz... Fat guys, guys get girls. Thank you. If DiCaprio was a plumber, he'd just be a plumber with a fat face. You put that puffy face on an IMAX, boom! Heartthrob. Now, you with me? When are we gonna try the costumes on? Forget the costumes. What girls will respond to is you. Your passion, intensity, truth. Because when I look at you guys, I see the living spirit of the Founding Fathers. You guys are America.
I'm screwed. What am I gonna do? I don't know, give up. Set your sights on someone who might actually get off with you. Man, that kid is pining for you. It's your own fault, yeah. Leading him on, acting all bi curious. All this moping around you'll be doing, saying how you've gone off women, he's young. He's confused. He doesn't get the nuances of adult relationships. Yeah, says the virgin. Well, whatever, man. I ain't the one prick teasing a kid. God, I would love to be a fly on the wall when you have to have that awkward chat. <laughs> Unless you take the easy way. Which is? Well, actions speak louder than words, dude. Ask someone to the dance. Someone like Rachel. Kid sees you with her, penny drops, awkwardness over. Well, this is awkward. Rachel, hold up. I'm sorry, OK? No, you're not. All right, I'm not. It was great. I'm sorry you walked in on us. Fuck you over into the whole forgiveness thing. Oh, is that what this is about? Yeah, let's do it in the Christian's office. Let's rub her nose in it. Don't knock it until you tried it. And if you do fancy trying it, I'd be happy you to... You uh... actually disgust me. Do you know that? All right, not me, then. How about Arab? He'd be gentle. Good for a first-timer. Plus, I know he'd be up for it. Oh, is that what you and your sad little friends do in your spare time? Swap notes on who you do it with? Yeah. Who, where, what position. We've got it all worked out. So I'll send them your way, then. Mr. Spencer. I'm greatly looking forward to your pageant. I trust it'll be suitably dignified and respectful. Okay, okay. She's looking over here. She's looking, she, her eyes are saying, come and get me, Arab. I won't knock you back. Your fragile self-confidence is safe with me. Just, just go over there and be funny. They like that kind of shit, apparently. Mm, don't tell me how to ask girls out, right? I know how to ask girls out. Fine. Prove it. Come Who's the otter? Just call me Cupid. Hi. Uh, so me and Dr Fox were just wondering what you were up to tonight. Are you kidding me? How is that the noise suddenly grow up here? Anyway, maybe she said yeah. Yeah, looks like it. Hey, mate. I like go. Arab? Oh, for fuck's sake, every five minutes. Arab? Arab? To be free and independent states, and that they are absolved from all allegiance to the British Crown. All right, guys, play it cool. Top uh, of page two. Uh, yeah, sign up for my drama class. God, no. I hate organized fun. Sit. Now, here's a curious thing. For years, our fat friends kept a low profile at camp, hoping they wouldn't get bullied. Yet suddenly, here they are. What'd you do? Spin them some shit about this being a good way to get girls? Right? Is it working? I'd start them off with stabilizers before you put them on a Harley. You looked away first. Chicken. How old are you, Lily? I'm legal. Why? What have you got in mind for me? Same sort of thing you've been doing with Pam? No idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I thought you were meant to be an actor. No shame in it. She jumps on poor sap every year, and you're just her type. Best be off, and don't worry. Your little secret's safe with me. Movement, bit of movement. Give him an option. Give him an option. 
I'm sorry. I was upset. I took it out on you, which makes me a dick. Friends, we've been worried about you. Yeah, we've noticed you've been a bit sad. I think I know how you feel, though. Yeah, I've been pretty down myself lately. You asked your girlfriend to marry you. She ran away. Yes. See, I felt something about her, but she didn't feel the same way back. But we're not just talking about me here, are we? Oh. You see, what I'm saying is, there's plenty more fish in the sea. But not all fish live in the sea. I mean, there are freshwater fish, too. And if you're a saltwater fish, there is no point swimming with the freshwater fish. You see? Why are we talking about fish? Well, we're not really, are we? We're talking about what's making you sad. What's fish got to do with my dad? Your dad? Yeah. He walked out on July 4th when I was six. So I always get sad today. Right. Stop, stop, stop. Let's just forget about the fish stuff. This is an absolute debacle. We're on in three hours. None of you know your lines, <laughs> and our excuse of a director has gone AWOL. I bet Efron doesn't have to put up with this. Shut up and tell me who they are. It's Gus and Buzz. Why haven't I seen them before? They don't really do much. They just yeah. hang around in the woods, giggling and eating snacks. Now, I really think we need to find these costumes. Whoa, what the fuck? Looks like wild child Lily Meadows is up to her old tricks again. But who is her mysterious new man? I just had her father on the phone asking that very same question, and believe me, the governor is furious. We were just talking. In fairness, it wasn't the content of the photo that made him angry, more that it was taken in the first place. Does make you secure to look bad? <laughs> Don't lecture me, boy. I will not have the good name of this camp besmirched by innuendo. Now let me reiterate. Staff who indulge in inappropriate behavior with campers get fired! Yes? Look, dear. There's one of you on here as well. Ow! And this pageant had better be good! Don't worry, dear. He can be a real asshole sometimes. Mercy! See? You shouldn't undermine me like that. You did check the references again, didn't you, the Brits? Yes. <sighs> Bobby, get a grip. The photographer is the problem, not the Brits. It's the air of entitlement that gets me. I don't care how rich they are back home, how many turrets their damn castle has got. This is my camp! We threw the Brits out once, and if need be, by God, I will do it again! You guys, you've got no idea how much this means to me. You just made my summer. You're a pretty righteous guy, Barry. Hey, later on, we're gonna, like, build a nest in a tree. Yeah, we're gonna sit in it, like birds. You can join us if you want. Yeah, I'll check my diary. Uh, guys, this is actually grass. No, I mean someone has mown their lawn, put it in a bag, and sold it to you. You gotta try it, man. It's mellow. Thurston asked me to help decorate for the dance. Funny, Thurston asked me to help decorate for the dance. Do you want me to go? Uh, I can't do the whole thing on my own. Look, I heard about what happened with Flynn, but I promise you what he said had nothing to do with me asking you out. Yeah, so what did? It's complicated. 
In what way? In the kind of way that doesn't make me look very good. Okay, now you've got me intrigued. Barry thought that if Thurston saw me with you at the dance, it might make him stop having a crush on me. Wow. In fairness, I did say I don't come out of this anecdote well, and I have delivered on that promise. Why would you tell me all that? Because I can handle you thinking I'm a knob, but I'd hate for you to think I was an arsehole. So which am I? How about option three? My date for tonight? Despite everything I just said? I don't know if it's despite or because. Good mood, so if you came for round two. I came to apologize. I'm clean. I already clean. Look, I was a dick. I should never have had sex in your desk, and I should have just apologized. I'm sorry. But. Mm, no, don't ruin it with a but. But, a rap had nothing to do with it, I swear. Yeah, I know. <sighs> Why don't you sit down? You're making me uncomfortable. You're not going to talk to me about Jesus, are you? Well, I wasn't going to, but if it annoy you, I will. You seem to have a compulsion to deflower things in my office. Nice to see those college fees aren't being wasted. Look, why don't we just agree to disagree on the pursuit of happiness? And how's that working out for you? Are you happy? I'm trying to be. I really disgust you. Don't get me wrong, I want to like you. But? But you're not that likable. I'm pretty brutal, considering you don't even know me. Is there much to know? Yeah, there is. So why try so hard to hide it? Because I don't want to depress the fuck out of people. Now you've lost me. Is this one of those stiff upper lip things? I'm dying. Sorry? I'm dying. So I'm sorry if you don't like the way I live. If true love waits for you, then great. But waiting's not a luxury I've got. No point being glum about it. This isn't some kind of sick joke, is it? Ask Jesus. Let me know what he says. <laughs> you guys look great. <laughs> A prince whose character is thus smart by every act. Come on, guys. It wasn't that bad. I'm sure Flynn didn't do it deliberately. There were some great moments. Since when did you join the fan club? You nailed that Just saying. Maybe he had something else on his mind. Oh, yeah, and we all know what that was. Somebody say something. We're just waiting for all the girls you promised to show up. Mr. Spencer, I think me and you need to talk. My office, one hour. Be there. OK, here's what we'll do. We'll go to the dance tonight. And what? Stand alone at the edge of the dance floor while everyone laughs? We ain't going to the dance, period. Come oh, Bobby, swallow your pride. Those photos, 
did you way more harm than a badly directed pageant. So is this where I say my hero will swoon melodramatically? Hope you get raped, sweetheart. Get a lot of those guys. Ever since the sex tape. Irony being, it's not even me in the tape. Mr. Spencer just came to say thank you. Excellent work. Pleasure. Well, good. That is all. So I guess the question now is, how can I say thank you? Well, there is something that springs to mind. In or out, honey? In. Whatever that is, please, can I buy some? Whoa. No. <laughs> You're joking, right? You think I'm wearing a wire? You think the Fed sent me? But vice versa, this would be a sex crime. <laughs> oh, relax. Here. Aren't you two a bit old for this kind of thing? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you came here to buy some wheat off us. Apparently not. I, I did, I did. So are you, are you selling or...? For personal use. Kind of. I'm trying to impress a girl. Oh! Who? Oh. Kimberly. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, God. What? Fit girls end up with ugly guys all the time. Look at you. Trust me, honey. You do not want to have my relationship. Oh, I think it's romantic. Boy meets girl. Boy likes girl. Boy woos girl with narcotics. <laughs> <laughs> but surely, Marcy, for Kimberly's sake, mm. we need to make sure that Barry here is a worthy suitor. Oh, some kind of test you mean to see how far he'd go for her? Hi, boys. Still in the mood with me, are you? Fair yeah, play. Come in. Hey, boys. So, we were wondering, do you guys have dates for tonight? Because if you don't, maybe you could take us. Okay. Well, great. Right, girls? So, I bagsy Thurston. Why don't we say Brandon takes Mina, Penn can go with Smalley, Uma, Rick Jr. Enchante, my dear. And Jesse gets jizz. Uh, what about the jocks? What about them? Pick us up at eight, okay? Yeah! 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 This 
bullshit. This is gonna be the worst. What kind of beat? Foul Steve version! Foul Steve! I must find my oh. back! I might be paying my romantic first. This is one of the biggest nights of my life. Oh my god, this is amazing. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh my this god. This is gonna be awesome. Yes. Yeah. Up here. You still thinking about your dad? I just get sad when I think about the stuff we could have done. I mean, my mom's cool and all, but she'd never take me camping or fishing. What's balls deep? Uh, that's just smallly talking rubbish. <laughs> Is it the kind of thing a dad's meant to tell you about? Um, kind of. I don't understand most of what they talk about. I think my mom skips and stuff. <clears throat> like how babies get made. Right. <laughs> Here, let me. I'm just gonna sit and stare. Amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ELS. You heard of it? You heard of Stephen Hawking? Believe it or not, he's one of the lucky ones. So he survived. So that's my best case scenario. I'm so sorry. Barry and Arab, they don't know. And it stays that way, yeah? Why? Because this might be the last good summer I get. And I don't want it to be all about me being ill. And once people know it changes everything, Look at you, 24 hours ago, I was a scumbag. Now you're stuck in me. I just wanted you to know I'm here to talk if you want. That's very nice. But I have this amount of time left, so if it's OK, I'd rather not spend it just talking. So what are you going to do? Well, having made up my limited options, I've decided to build the world's biggest wank bank. In case I get lucky and I end up like hockey. Now I need some good memories to keep me going in there. You're not alone. Whatever you think. We'll see. Alright, did you know about this? I think it's cute. No, it's not I cute. Know he's there for me. Paul looks good. Yeah, it does. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. I'm gonna grab a drink. You want one? He's crazy. Are you okay down there? Lily, I don't think this is going to work. It's not you. It's me. Guys? What to make my date? Didn't realize you had a date, Barry? 
Oh, yeah. I've been eyeing this one for a while now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right, you. Mm. Well, that lip gloss new. Cherry. <laughs> Talking about cherries, I got a bone to pick with you two. Barry tells me you joke about him being a virgin. Well, I can assure you, he isn't. Come on, sweet cheeks. Let's get you on the dance floor. Sweet cheeks. I thought you'd have cracked and told him. There is no way I'm leaving this dance without that weed. Face it, Marcy, you picked the wrong guy to fuck with. You can't embarrass a man with no shame. <laughs> Come on, let's go dance badly. Or we can just stand here in silence, because that's always fun. Is there something wrong? Do you want to just tell me? I saw you. I should just forget it. It's me. It's my fault. It's, this was a mistake. I don't understand. Get your hand off my ass, or my knee makes a swing for Bobby Jr. Is this about your ex? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. I'm sorry, really am. Hey, what's up? <laughs> so, beyond getting her the wheel, what's the big plan? I don't know, just uh, wear her down, I suppose. Trust me on this. You ain't gonna win playing fair and square. <laughs> you gotta play dirty. I mean, that's just weird. Well, at least they're having fun. So, tomorrow at four? Good. Same place as usual. That's a big smile. Just embracing the July 4th spirit. Pursuit of happiness and all that. Know what makes me happy? That. There's nothing more fun than fucking out the social order and then kicking back and watching the fallout. What's happened to your date? He left me, the cad. My self-esteem's in tatters. Well, that's too bad. I wonder if you'd be a gentleman and help me restore it. you need to, Lily. Let it all out. She's still upset about the photographer. They're there. He's gone now. It's just upsetting how easily he got in. How lax the security is here, despite what it says in the brochure. Well, now, ho hold on. Tell you what, Lily. You go with Bobby. He'll make sure to get you back to your cabin safely, and then he'll tell you all about his security arrangements. Yes, that's, that's a good idea. Oh, and Lily. Take this. I know you were worried. Thanks. How are you on? Twice in a day? Twice in a day. <laughs> hey, Demi. Put Ashton down, you fucking scab. <laughs> okay, you ready? Hey, screwing that must be like sending a canoe up the fucking Hudson. <laughs> oh, that's how you roll, is it? Big gang of you against one old lady. Well, we've got a word for that where I'm from. Wankers. And today, of all days when you're giving it all that about, about standing up to bullies. No wonder you're here alone. And you? Proud of your boys, are you? <laughs> okay, put the cardigan over my shoulders and at me. <laughs> By the way, you won the bet. <laughs> How, how is this my fault? Because they look to you for an example. I have a request for an Eric shot. 
Do I have an Ericsson here? Oh. Right. Why are you acting like a prick? Am I? Well, yeah, maybe I am. I saw you with Rachel in the dressing room. You've got the wrong idea. Yeah? How? Now tell me, explain how that little scenario came about. Well, man, I'm not saying you did it deliberately. Did what? You know, that thing you do with girls that I can't do. You know, that charming thing. But, man, you, you flinder. You know, I saw how she looked to you, so what's the point? What's happened to my mate, huh? The cool one, because this one's just mental. Nothing happened. You've got to trust me. Look, just because Simon let you down, it doesn't mean she will. It doesn't mean I will. Go over and apologise. Make a joke of it. I'm being serious. She's good news. You'd be a dick to let her go. Take her somewhere quiet, watch the fireworks, have a little moment. Just the two of you. I should go check on Thurston. It'll be fine. And here he comes, the perfect gent. <laughs> oh, he's a keeper, this one. I think I'll just go and powder my nose. She told me everything. How she used to go dancing with her husband all the time. She hasn't danced since he died. Right, yeah. I think that was really sweet. It's good for dancing again. So, I'll see you in the morning then? But you said no more lessons till I've got you the weed. The girl can change your mind, right? I don't want this then. <laughs> Plenty more where that came from. I'll see you in the morning. You look pleased? Right, you and Marcy, what's the deal? Gotta hand it to you, that was slick. I and mean, she actually thinks you're an okay guy. So from now on, I bring my AK. You bring an old lady to the fight, I'll bring an AIDS orphan. And you've got one of those, have you? I underestimated you. The gloves are off now. So is our truce. We got a deal. Yeah, but then your guys turned up with my guys' dates, which, in my book, makes them fair game again. Cheerio and stuff. Okay, folks, last dance. Now that's not an excuse for wandering hands, Ryan McIntyre. Hey, Rob. What's teabagging? Uh, nothing you need to worry about, Ryan. What's the Cincinnati bow tie? Look at those fireworks, eh? Hmm. What's a fallopian tube? Thurston, shut up and fish. First fish. What are you going to call it? Dr. Fox. <laughs> <laughs>